previously on Fallout New Vegas. That's all. Nice. I'm glad I got a little robot voice on my head telling me when all the enemies are gone. This one looks pretty tough. No, they're just pipes. Uh oh. No, it's just another pipe. Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Willow, I need you to sing something. I need you to sing something horrible. Because I need that just wiped from my mind. Right now. Alright, Muggy. Are we done? Install the personality modules. Alright, we're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jade, and I approve of this badassery. Okay, the biological research station. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online. Ready to receive your seed. Um, my seed? I think you're getting your biology mixed up there. Nah, baby. I'm all about biology. I'm the original, certified, rarefied, testified GS2000 Biological Research Station. I'm a seed cloning machine. You got seeds. I will clone the shit out of them. <laughs> what does that mean? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, <laughs> and I'll work my mojo on them. Clone you up all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. I can also break them down for you, if you're into the kinky stuff. Bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient green for you. Yeah. You like that, don't you, baby? <laughs> So if I bring you samples of dried plant life, you can clone them and grow them in these planters over here? You know it, baby. I just need some samples and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kinds of good. <laughs> also, what's salient green? Just the miracle of life in sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. <laughs> Heat that gunk up over the campfire. And just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. Well, in that case, I command you to open your port and receive my seed. Ah, yeah, baby. Just slip it in there. All the way down in that dark, moist earth. Mmm, launching interface. Okay, process seed into planter. Alright, <laughs> pick that crap up at that stupid facility. Cool. Alright, that was slightly disturbing. Is that all that's in here? I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then? You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. Uh, just like a drink, thanks. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. Muggy? Yeah. Muggy's all right. Not too seedy. But hey, nobody's perfect. Hey. Haven't talked to Muggy yet. The book shoot. Ah, good day, citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. 
Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pulped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white and sedition-free. So you make blank books? What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Can, can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I could also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. You know, you should probably not destroy books, because they're kind of all we have of the old world. I mean, you, yeah, you can't destroy them. Citizen. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. My god. Eh, yeah, maybe I can find use for blank books. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. Stay loyal, citizen. Uh, here's the uh, auto dock. Well, we'll get to the auto dock when we want to reinstall our brain. The toaster! <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom! Tremble, you're a toaster. How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Well, I, for one, am quaking in my boots. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! Why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Uh, I want to change the subject. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. You know, I'm almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night! So you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components. Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like. What else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics. You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for any of those then. You find one, you bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! I, I gotta go now. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! Oh, God. Um... Let's see, one of those is... Auto Look dot. out! Communist! No, false alarm. It was just a plate. Oh. Light switch one. Oh, my. Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. So what function do you serve? Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. And the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Can you turn those lights on for me? As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Oh, okay, well, uh, we'll talk later. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it.
What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. So, can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here, and... Bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream, <laughs> if that's what you want. Apparently I found a sound wave file for you? Right on, baby. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Oh, Gabriel Spark. Okay. Do you play music? Mmm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Moe ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues even if I can't play them no more. Talk to you later. Catch you later, Gator. Mmm, that was a nice little uh, catnap. How long was I out? What are you, some kind of novelty talking light switch? I was Dr. Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. That's right, how lighting affects human interaction. What'd you find out? Oh, it was super exciting. It turns out that some pretty colored lights can make you way better at talking to people. Can you turn those lights on for me? Oh, I love to, sweetie, but I don't have the programming. All the data from the experiments was lost. You'd have to go out into that nasty old crater and find the backup copy. Uh, I saw and talked to another light switch in the other room. Do, do you control that one, too? Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie, you're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. Sounds like there's some bad blood between you. Or, um... Bad circuits. That bitch? She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Okay, then forget I said anything. Sure thing, sweetie. I gotta go. Bye now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I bet no one has ever you. been as unnoticed hey, as me. Yeah, you. Got any mugs? Sorry, what was that? My stealth suit was busy talking over you. Do I have any mugs? Uh, sorry, I don't. I don't have any. Of course you don't. Why would you? You're not an insane robot obsessed with coffee cups. To you, they're just worthless junk. Uh, what do you want with mugs? Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh God, give me the coffee cup, please! It's sitting there in your pack, taunting me. Sorry. Um, sorry. I gotta let it carry away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with- I wanna clean them and press my heart! <laughs> you seem really obsessed with mugs. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that too. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jars. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with all the mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Can you do anything else? 
Anything else, she asks. Like I don't long for the chance to be more than a neurotic busboy. If you must know... At one point, Dr. Mobius programmed me to manufacture electronic components in my central chassis. That module got corroded when the toaster spilled hot crumbs down my vents, though. If you find a backup somewhere, I could maybe do that for you. Let's change the subject. Is the new subject mugged? Who are you, exactly? You... You really want to know about... Me? <laughs> no one ever asks about Muggy. You made me so happy. Maybe you've seen some of those big, imposing Securitrons with their lovely laser guns and rocket launchers and scary faces. I'm not one of those. Dr. O was always jealous of house industries, and he thought it would be fucking hilarious to build a tiny neurotic Securitron. Big fucking laugh! <laughs> So, um, you got any coffee cups for me now? I gotta go. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. So long, pal. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's ready for a party? <sighs> well, how about that? Old auto docks back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. You are, without a doubt, the healthiest son of a bitch I've ever seen wandering the big empty. Ain't got no use for an old digital sawbones like me. Can he do anything beyond healing me? Well, firstly, I would say providing wholeness of the body is service enough, but if you must know, I'm also programmed with cosmetical subroutines. Diagnostic says they're offline at the moment, though. Something about corrupted data files and all manner of such foolishness. If you want a haircut or a nose job that won't leave you looking like a ghoul with alopecia, you'll have to find replacement discs for them. Also, and I won't swear to this, but I recollect at some point having a few implant installation modules. Can't speak to where they got to, though. Well, I would like to engage in your services. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire up the old interface for you. Swap body parts? Uh, I don't want to do that. I wanted to get my brain back in my body. Like... How do I do that? Oh. Oh, okay, that was that quest. Right, but how do I get my brain back in my skull? Niner, move. This isn't the time. You require some additional services? Uh, I'm feeling a little unwell in the head. Can you perform a psychiatric evaluation on me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, uh, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? Uh, never mind. Well, I'll be right here if you change your mind. I have no idea how I'm supposed to put my brain back in. Did I already do that? Or what? I shouldn't have. Just still have like the... Brainless perk? Yeah. I would go around and get the upgrades for all the sync stuff, but I don't know if I really want to go through all that, so... Well, first let's return Gabe's bowl to Dr. Boros, since we... Did that thing. Uh, I'm not ready to finish this yet. Oh shit. You know, we're not doing that right now. Um. Okay, well, guess we're doing more upgrades. Why not? We'll just kind of like complete this DLC as much as possible, right, Niner? You look so unamused right now. You're like so tired of this shit. Yeah, I know the feels.